After five rounds of the Global Rugby Challenge, both teams have got players in positions nicely under control. Most teams it is, except for the Corn Flakers. And Captain Craig Anderson and his team need to sort things out quickly as they take on a real banana skin in the Sale Sharks. A team yet to win a game and yet to pick up a bonus point, sitting firmly at the bottom of the table. What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the GRC, the Global Rugby Challenge, otherwise known as the Subscriber Series. The series where you guys take on the field against the world's elite. Today, the elite don't look so good with the South Sharks sitting firmly bottom of the table. But a real banana skin match here for the Flakers who have been a little bit patchy in their own form. They've made a number of changes for today's matchup as led by Captain Craig Anderson who will be starting tonight's matchup at Hooker. Alongside him will be Hugo Lambrex at loose head and a rare start here for Ben Bobbs who has come in at tight head. The ever impressive and the real star of the show for the Flakers, Ethan Holton will start in the second row and he will partner Sir Oscar in the middle of that pack. Moving into the back row and it's a real star from last round, CJ Smith starts yet again on the blind side flank, partnering up with Daniel Brill on the open side and Daniel Adumaru who will rub up the pack at number eight. Moving into the back line, there will be another starter for Joshua Barrett, the beautiful man, starting at number 9. And of course, the incumbent Bernard Ankerhan, who will wear that number 10 jumper yet again. Moving into this midfield, it looks experienced and it looks exciting. Daryl Gray will wear 12 and David Adumaru once again wears 13. The finishers on the outside, Corey Davidson on the left and of course, Jabari Kuroi on the right-hand side. Connor DeMard, a little bit of sensibility at the back, but a very exciting and a very explosive looking back line to complement the number 15. Up against them, the South Sharks, not a bad side, and it's surprising they're doing so well. The number of very talented players throughout. A front row that is stapled up with Luke Cowan Dickey at hooker, and of course the experience of Johnny Hill in that second row. It's a very good looking back row. Ben Curry, Tom Ellis, and Sam Dugdale will wear 6, 7, and 8. And of course, they've got the direction with George Ford wearing that number 10 jumper. We've seen against the All Flakes just how good a finisher Tom O'Flaherty can be, and of course the powerhouse of Manu Tuolangi will be in that midfield. They don't look bad on paper, but their form of the GRC has been less than desirable so far. And for the Flakers, this is potentially a banana skin matchup. They'll need to be at their best with these changes. They need to sort things out to get the big W here over the Sale Sharks. Have a look at the bench for the two teams and look at what they've got here, the South Sharks. Most, so much experience with like some Krivi and Bayanu wearing 16 and 23 throughout their side. Another Kari Curry wears 20 as well. For the Flakers though, a lot of experience here too. Valentine on there, both Valentine boys and of course Barrett as well as the likes of Matthews and Fisher who have been here before. Expect some spark of the bench, the likes of Capone as well who will be in the number 18 jumper tonight for the Flakers. And to go with a struggling team, a struggling crowd here to see the sales side in action. They'll be in the black and blue, of course, the Flakers in the yellow and purple as we get things underway. A deep kick here from Ford, fielded nicely down there from Captain Craig Anderson. And the Flakers, they're going to get the football for the first time tonight. Smith turning around the corner, nice little ball as well. And they break right through, Daryl Gray! Oh, Daryl Gray showing the inside line! And Daryl Gray gets the Flakers off to an incredible start. Well, that is exactly what they wanted. Could you dream of a better way to kick things off? Round five. And look at them go. Nice little ball there from CJ Smith. Shaped it back on the inside, gave it to Daryl Gray. And he is one man that knows his way to the try line. Much more attacking threats here for this Flakers team. Daryl Gray, of course, David Adumaru, Javari Karui, Corey Davidson, all capable outside backs. Slotting through that midfield and on the wings. They look like they might be dangerous tonight. It's a good start, four minutes in. And Bernard Ankerhan adds the extra two. It's a great start for the Flakers, who have been a little bit under the weather this season. Struggled to get their wins, of course. Got beaten pretty poorly by the Guardians in the opening round. Let's see if they can turn it around here at the near halfway point of the competition. Of course, yet to have a bye here as Daniel Brill takes the ball in. A little pick and go off the back there. 
Finding more work for Mr. Gray, who has been hard at it. Here is Barrett. Big man for a scrum half. It's Joshua Barrett, and he holds the ball up, and his team support him well. Here's Daniel Dumaru. He'll play scrum half. And can a big ball out wide, and it'll be a straight run home for the man we just spoke of, Corey Davidson. You talk about the attacking threats all over this back line. And when you give them space like that, you can't expect them not to take it. Two tries. Very early on here from the Flakers. Great ball out wide. Exquisite pass from Daryl Gray. And not only has he got a try to start his night off, Mr. Gray, he's got a, a assist as well. Exactly what you want to make out of your impression of your time and inside centre. Here is Anka Hart, who's hardly had to create any place here so far as the fly half. His team has fired off in an incredible way. Two tries in the opening 10 minutes of this game. And as we seem to always do, we look on as the team under the pump, the South Sharks. Wonder where the next one comes from. That's a great take there from Ben Bob. So what a run this is. Ankar turns around the corner. The numbers are there. That's a runaway. Daniel Brown in his fun wheels. He does. He's found the wheels on the right. And it's a clean pair for David Adumaru. And the Flakers have got three. This is highlight reel stuff. And they just keep putting the points on the board. Well, that was an exquisite piece of play from Ankerhan and then Daryl Gray. And then how do you know when you look out wide, you just got to find the pace. Daniel Brill did brilliantly just to keep the heads up, just to know where his support was. It's a clever smart play from the back row. Here's Ankerhan. It's one-way traffic so far. 15 minutes almost up. And we got three converted tries to the Flakers on the road. And they are kicking off here against the Sale Sharks. George Ford, he's had no ball to play with. There's been one way traffic from the Flakers. Here's a takeoff from Aduma Ruby. Here's Craig Anderson trying to get involved through the middle. Barrett. He'll take it. He'll kick this one away. Daniel Brill leads the chase. There's no one back here for sale whatsoever. So they're going to have to really clean it up. O'Flaherty gets it. He gets defended as well. And that's a great chase from Barrett. His own kick. And he puts the pressure on. Luckily for O'Flaherty, the ball went inside the end goal. So they get a 22 dropout as opposed to a defensive five-minute scrum. Here's Barrett going to the boot once more. Trying to get it away from Joe Carpenter. Down the throat, literally, it goes of Adumaru. His little kick ahead again for Carpenter to field is tackled nicely from Anka Hunt. They'll come out to the left side, and George Ford will reply in favour. Getting it over the top. And Corey Davidson looks to spark the team attraction. Here he is, Ethan Holton. The try scoring phenomenon in the second row. Barrett. His. A big run through the middle of Anderson looking to break something up. And here is Ankerhard now going on the right hand side. Looking for Kuroi. Gets to him nice and early. Kuroi on the inside ball. Brilliant step. And a try to Banana Ankerhard. Oh, they just do it too easy. They're passing. It's just too fast. It's just too crisp. And it's just perfectly on point. The bonus point try is in the books. And you just see Craig Anderson standing in first receiver. Puts me off every time. The switch to play was brilliant. Karoy did fantastically. And how about that from Joshua Barrett as well. To keep the ball alive. Big defenders. And Ankhan grabs another try. For the very, very talented fly half. 28 points to nil. We're not even at half time yet. The South Sharks... Well, they are floundering, that is for sure. A little bit of ball they have got. They have just swiftly kicked it away. Carpenter, Ford, 
especially have no interest in running this from their own half. Another good take. Ben Bobs has been exquisite under the high ball. Here's Barrett. Tries to go down the short side of South Davidson. Dummy the run. It waits up here for Oscar. He fires it out to Colin Demard, who's up from fullback. Very little work through defensively for Demard. He'll be happy about that as the kick is returned. And there's a number of players all back here fishing for it. It's Daryl Gray, the Dumaru getting away to Kuroi, who beats one. Inside ball for going back out. And Angerhard is all in acres of space. He's got no real friends here, so he takes it aground. And he's been carried over the sideline in the tackle. Smart play from Ankahan. It's easy to try and force something there or try to do too much. His team is up by 28 points to nil. There's no need to do anything silly in this match just yet. Here's Callan Dickey. That didn't look straight. But to the back and Tom Ellis it goes. Johnny Hill piling in. Look at all coming in here now. Even O'Flaherty's jumped into it. Here's a wee run. Grant getting the nice ball away to James. Inside pass. O'Flaherty running into the corner. Great ankle tap. O'Flaherty's gone high. And DeMar will clean it up and be pummeled into his own end goal. Wow, well, you've got to take a mark in that instance. Set. But a huge opportunity here. Rafi works. He'll beat the scrum. Sale need to score. And they need to score now. Quirk waits. Forward to his right. Delivers. Running around his O'Flaherty. And he continues to run hard. Just about the centre field now. It waits for Schrein. And a good little ball from the big prop. Just about threads through. Quick it goes. Numbers out wide. There's the try. And in the end, Sale have got a little bit of reward for a good fight back. There's the chance rated ball from O'Flaherty down the left wing. Good defensive chase as well. And in the end, outside centre, Sam James gets the ball over. Good little ball wide from Schnur. And the finish from James in the corner. Exquisite enough for the South Sharks. It's a start, right? It's a start. They've got points on the board. And the way this game's gone so far, 28 points to seven at half time. They need a lot more of that for the likes of O'Flaherty. And especially a good break, a couple of good breaks from James as well. But can they drag this back? Can they claw this back? in the second half they are down in a big way possession they've just had 24 percent but they have had more kicks in play than the flakers which is going to be something they need to shut down but of course the flakers devastating on attack five line breaks to just two and that is not going to be enough to get yourself enough tries to put back in this game let's be honest you need more than just two line breaks Renan Ankahan has had a very productive first half. Let's see if he can continue that on as he kicks things back underway in the South Sharks. Drag the ball in, Quirk has a little go and he drops off a short ball. It's a nice one too for Ellis and Ellis runs. Ellis is still running. He's running away from everyone. Afraid to put the tackle, but it's turned over. Oh, Daniel Adomaru having a field day at the breakdown. Kicked away from the Flakers. Thrown back in from Carpenter. A run here from Roebuck. Release. A rear touch for the right winger. And speaking of rear touches, that's it for Sale. Barrett puts a little grubber kick. Really danger zone stuff there from Barrett. Takes his hard, Carpenter cleans up. CJ Smith quickly into the breakdown. Good tackle there on a hard run from Sam Dugdale. Quirk goes short the side for Van Ruin. Lost the Shirley, he's lost it. Lost ball, knock on, scrum feed to the Flakers. And this is a glorious attacking opportunity to hit back. They conceded seven just before half time. Crowd. They want to make sure they get Bind. that lead of 28 points back up into the right Set. side of things for them. They won't want to let the South Sharks get a sniff of a chance. For it. Holds it up, goes short. That's a, the ball away there to Daniel Dumaru right the back of the scrum. Barrett, a little short one, and straight over they go. Oh, brilliant try for the Flakers. Just reward of the short ball, carrying defenders. 
and back in the starting lineup in the tries as Ben Bobs. Well, it's just what they needed, the Flakers. Joshua Barrett, a real bizarre play there. And Dumaru did brilliantly to get himself on the front foot. And then just a ball out to a hard running prop. Always going to be hard to stop, especially for a player like Carpenter who just doesn't have the size. And Ben Bob celebrates his first try of the season. And the fifth try for the Flakers. Here is Anka Hahn, wanting another two. Gets another two. 35 points to seven. It is all the big boys in the Flakers showing that they can maybe win big. Half an hour still to play though. They say they can keep up this momentum. Picked off again from Ford. Taken nicely once more from Craig Anderson. Release. He's really worked hard at those kickoffs. Really involved in the play as well. Smith, the way to Davidson. Haven't seen much here from CJ Smith. That's a good turnover for sale. Now for the turn of the points, they might just do it. Through the middle, they go to James James. Oh, he's beat the man. He's beat everyone. Come back, ball. Great try. Sale are in. Try number two. And there's the comeback on for the Sale Sharks. Sam James. What an incredible player. Well, not the greatest there from Corey Davidson, but a good flick back ball from Robach, and then look at them go. Sam James, bang, beating to Mark. Beautiful line back here from Curry. And that is what you love to see. Ben Curry slicing back on the opposite direction of the defense. And Sam James really has been a rare standout here for the South Sharks. 35 points to 14. Pass the kick is good from George Ford. South Sharks staging something of the best they can for comebacks. Still need another three tries. Let's see if they can cook something more up. The air time to go to here, just under 25 minutes. It's a good drag down too from Mr. Tom Ellis. Watch out, Sam James is waiting at the base of this ruck. And that's always a big threat too. Coming to the left side, popping it back in. Another good run from the captain, Nick Schmerk. Waits for Quirk. Quirk runs. Just about beats away, half a defender. Sitting up now for Dugdale. Offloading in the tackle, Calvin Dickey having Not it there. Releasing. Penalty, oh, that's a good one too. Flakers showing what their wares are when it comes to the breakdown. Excellent work. And now where do they look to attend? It is to the post. They could have been forgiven here for going straight to the corner, but no. Craig Anderson, as stout as ever, is given the command. And Ankerhart has promptly slotted over the three. It is 38 points to 14. And that just makes the task that little bit easier for the Flakers to hold on now. And a little bit more daunting for the South Sharks to find a way back in. Short kickoff. CJ Smith takes it nicely. Real there quickly, as is Anderson. Here is a little quick and go from Joshua Barrett. Always looking to snipe around those outsides. Holton. Danger. Back to Anka Hahn, who's looked for touch. Bizarre change of tactic here. Looking to force the South Sharks back. Oh, it's a brilliant kick from Bernard Anka Hahn. And Curry corner two minds. Do I let it go out? Do I risk losing the ball? In the end, he's done the worst thing possible and he's given Craig Anderson the throw to the lineouts. Oscar takes it at the back. Barrett, here's Anker Hart showing the ball and beating three defenders just outside the 22. Great run. Barrett once more. Off his better for Kurei. Down the right wing. Oh, what a pass. Jabari Kurei and Connor Demarts. 14 and 15, how good to see. Well, fullbacks don't often get the joy. They don't often get the reward. But this was a special play. Connor DeMar up joining the line. And an exquisite pass here from Jabari Kuroi. No one else saw Connor DeMar running on that inside midfield line. No one except Kuroi. 
Another try to the Flakers. And they just continue to stamp out any threat of the South Sharks coming back into the game. Hank Hahn with a, another successful kick. He's having a great night. That's Bernard Hank Hahn. And we have seen 50 up once before by the Flakers. They got 52. And their win against the Chiefs, if I'm not mistaken, 52-28 from my shady memory. And Patchy, at that matter. Here is Anderson twirling around and finding Lambrex. Rare touch for Hugo Lambrex tonight. Barrett. Oh, monster is Joshua Barrett. Waiting for a doom room. He'll have a bit of a go. Looks out to the wing. He's found his brother. And now they break through the middle of the field. It's David Adumaru. One off throw to Karai. Oh, he just couldn't get away. Great desperation tackle from O'Flaherty. Now they look through CJ Smith. Inside ball. It's a runaway. It's Adumaru. This time the David Variety. Four minutes to play. 50 is up. And a chance to equal the highest total for a subscriber side this season. Well, who would have thought... The way the Flakers have played this season. Another struggle seemed to be on the French recipe list, that's for sure. But they have turned this around in magnificent fashion. Adomaru has been sublime, both of them, Daniel and David. But Jabari Karoy just about run away himself. I don't really know who you give a standout to in this game. They've all been phenomenal. Here is Ankerhan. Still minutes remain here. 52 14. On aggregate, they have the highest winning margin in this Global Rugby Challenge season. But can they get the highest points for one team? Let's find out. Three minutes to go. This one is done. It's been long done as a contest. Good take from Lambrex, and away they go. Ethan Holton, of course. Oh my goodness me. Ethan Holton with a miracle ball. And the highest tally will go to the Flakers. An easy scamper down the left wing. And Daniel Adumaru completes the play. Well, if it's not David, it's Daniel. But how about Ethan Holton? Off the ball from Hugo Lambrex. That is a miracle. Oh, oh, my word. That is special. And he has been outstanding tonight as Daniel Adumaru. But Ethan Holton, amazingly, with all of these tries, he's not got one. But his team has finally shown up to the party. The kick is good. The buzzer goes. And I think the South Sharks, we pray that the referee agrees. 59 points to 14. It's emphatic. It's devastating. And it is dominance from the Flakers here in round number five. Well, they took their time to sort themselves out. But now they may just look like the real deal. Big matches to come, of course. They've got to face off of the All Flakes. In a couple of rounds time, but take a look at the scoreline, 59-14. Let's quickly go through, we'll run out of time. Curry and James, the tries for sale, Ford converting both. But Bobs, Adumaru, Ankahan, Davidson, Gray, and DeMart with one try, and Adumaru with two. Oh, gee, I'm pretty sure it's David that got two, or it could be Daniel, I'm not really sure. In the end, it was all converted from Ankahan to finish off with 59 points alongside his penalty goal as well what a performance eight line breaks eight tries from the flakers they have been a devastatingly good form and shut the south sharks out it has been an absolute privilege to witness this game the real coming of age for a team that we've seen struggle their way through the tournament so far now the table well it's going to be thrown completely on its head as we take a look at how it stands after this round five matchup and of course the last game of round five as well. And with it, we can see the All Flakes still sit pretty up the top with five bonus points from five wins. But it is the Flakers now right behind them with four bonus points from four wins and one loss. They sit comfortably on 20. And now the pressure on probably the only other team to not have a massive win, the Guardians of the Crib, who have just treaded through their game so nicely so far, getting just the one bonus point from their matches 
of four wins from four games. Of course, on the bye in round five, they will return next episode for their matchup against Munster. We'll take a look at that just in a second. But we can see, sadly, for the South Sharks, they sit firmly down the bottom of the table still after that thumping at the hands of the Flakers. Now, looking ahead, of course, to round six, another just two games to come your way in round number six. We've got the Guardians of the Crib opening up against Munster. The Flakers versus Saracens. And, of course, the All Flakes are on the bye. Wrapping up round five, of course, La Rochelle got the one-point win, my word, over the Stormers. And the Chiefs, 23-14 over Toulouse to wrap up the fifth round. We are about halfway through the season here. There is 11 rounds, but we've just completed round number five. But keep your eyes peeled for round seven, which has got the All Flakes back from the bye, taking on now a very dangerous Flakers team. Next episode, though, will be the Guardians versus Munster. So I hope to see you all there for that one. Captain Jack Sheps will have a team ready to roll for another round of the GRC straight after the bye for that Guardians team. So I'll see you all for that one. Until then, no thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.